Well, if you've been wondering where I am, it's because I now just stay inside and play a lot of video games because I don't want to go outside anymore. And it's hot here. Like, I live in Vegas. If you go outside, it's pretty much, like, pretty bad. It's like stepping in the oven. Anyways, a little quick story. I asked my friend, hey, let me try your HTC Vive because I've never tried VR before. So he let me try five games. He let me try the Spider-Man VR thing. Beat Saber, of course. Drunken Bar Fight. Fallout, you know, all these VR games, like, it was pretty cool. I was pretty hooked. So it made me want to get my own VR, essentially. And that's what I did. So I bought the Oculus Rift S because I don't want to go outside anymore. With this, I can stay, I can experience reality virtually in a controlled environment and I literally never have to go outside anymore. So all the sensors, I, I, I don't need to set anything up. This is how, this is how cool it is. I don't need to set up any boxes to track anything. Everything is done through the headset itself, which is neat. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now I'm in business. There we go. Y'all probably can't see what I'm doing. Continue. Do I have this backwards? Damn it. I have a controller backwards. So this is what it's like inside the headset itself. You can see that. It's pretty cool, you can touch your own fingers, you know, stuff you can do in real life, but in the virtual world now. And you can also simulate drive-bys made by Facebook. And if you want, you can make your own Hunger Games with this bow and arrow. What's also neat is, you can also conceal your appearance. That is right guys, you can now catfish in a virtual world. Anything is possible now. Even this. Me, as a non-athlete, I'm not good at basketball. But this game enhances the reality virtually. You can also just, you know, bring the board closer to you and just make your life easier. I mean, you can do this in real life, they just look down on you, so I just do it in the game. Now here's a friendly reminder to my younger audience, always read books because only winners read books. Well, all joking aside, this is such a cool concept. Virtual reality is gonna be the future someday, so that's why I encourage you to guys try it. If you have a friend, you know, that has a virtual reality headset, get on his good side. Because this is something you just gotta experience in real life. And I'm not advising anyone to use people for their own personal gain because that's not cool. So if you have a friend that has a virtual reality headset, just get up on one knee, propose to him and say, can I play VR headset? And that should solve your issues and you'll get to experience this virtual reality world. Okay, that's enough before I get a copyright strike. So it wasn't that cool, right? I'm literally controlling everything with my movements and and I honestly believe that this is the future of gaming and where it's gonna go, so I'm glad I have a headset. But the only problem is I get this glitch, right? This is where I almost return this headset. No joke. Because this thing is preventing me from playing any VR games how it's normally supposed to be intended. Look, I'm not waving hello at a Disneyland park. This is just a glitch in the headset itself. For whatever reason, the cameras just lose track of my hands and they just rotate like this. It's like I just forgot how to use my arms. And it would just occur at the most random instance, like if I'm playing a Beat Saber game where you need to have that precision, this is how it messed me up. For example, this clip, look at me. I'm getting into it, I'm missing notes, but I'm still grooving with it, see that? And then this starts happening out of nowhere. Can you see how frustrating this is? I'm literally waving the Rift S goodbye because I'm about to return this back to the store I bought it from. I honestly thought when I bought this, I didn't have to do any form of troubleshooting. I would just plug it in and it'll work perfectly fine. That is not the case here. Like this device is really making me put in work just to get it working. And even when I do get it to work, I only get a good 10 minutes of gameplay before my hands start rotating. And it's not just me. There are a lot of people that I've seen that have been experiencing these issues. And what's unfair is some people literally just plug it and play it and they don't have any issues. Unfortunately, I'm not one of those few people. I got, I guess, the bad ones. There is one more solution that someone suggested to me that is to install a dedicated USB hub thing. So basically, I had to plug something into the motherboard so I can get a proper USB 3.0 working because that might be the potential issue. That the USB 3.0 on the motherboard is trash and I need to supplement that with something. 
So in other words, I have to buy something in order to get this to basically function. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this Inatech PCIe card for your USB 3.0 because apparently that might be the issue. So the USB 3.0 on your motherboard might be just trash and so this is a way you can solve your problems. I read on Reddit that this might be a potential issue and let's see if it's a possible solution to fixing this. So I'm going to do a fresh install just to be safe and this is my final attempt. If this doesn't work, this is going back to the store or... <sighs> just kidding, I'm actually poor. Well guys, now we're coming to the conclusion. Am I going to return this to the store? The answer is no. It's because that solution that was mentioned in the, the Reddit forum I saw actually worked. So it turns out one of the only issues is that if you don't have the proper USB 3.0 ports, this headset might not work properly for you. Therefore, you have to buy this thing in order for it to work. Don't worry guys, I'll link the same one I used in the video so you guys can fix your problem. Like, just, just buy it and then fix it if you want this to work. Personally, I feel like I shouldn't have to do that. I feel like this should have been plug and play from the start, but whatever man, whatever, at least it's working, right? And since the headset's finally working, I've actually noticed how well the tracking is. If you see in this gameplay, um, I'm actually doing pretty terrible at the song. The tracking is not failing me, it's just my lack of skill that's actually preventing me from playing the song properly. And that's a good thing. I suck, the headset doesn't suck in terms of tracking, but the tracking is there guys. Inside out tracking is on par, or probably close to being good enough for a VR headset. I've tried a lighthouse tracking for my friend and it's it's pretty cool. This I believe can keep up with it. Especially for the price range you're paying and and the setup. This is a pretty good headset. So for most of the VR headsets out there right now, they're dominated by a lot of lighthouse tracking. They cost upwards of 500 plus even a thousand dollars for the more premium ones. And this one sits at 400. It's a pretty reasonable price, you know, and it's a, a thing a price that's gonna attract a lot of people trying to get into PC VR headsets. And the setup is very simple. Since there's no lighthouse tracking to set up, you can literally just find a space, trace the, um, the play space you're gonna do, and just let the headset do all the tracking. This is this is a very good option. Especially if you're like me and you don't want to do any more work than you have to. This is a good option. And with that price tag, you also get access to the Oculus software, which is pretty nice. Oculus has a lot of exclusive titles that's just for Oculus. You wouldn't need to have a third party mod just to access all those cool stuff. And plus, the interface looks pretty good. I've had Steam VR, and personally, I don't like the way Steam VR's layout is. In my opinion, Steam VR is just not my thing. I prefer just the way the Oculus uh, software just looks. It's just me. I would personally buy more of my games on Oculus than Steam. Unless they're on sale, then forget loyalty, man. I'll go where it's cheaper. Now to move on to the bad things I don't like about the headset. There's just a couple things. Um, I don't like the display port. I wish it was HDMI. I would love to plug it into my laptop and make it work. Um, I don't like the cable. It's on the left side of your headset and it gets in the way of the immersion in any VR headset. It's just, why can't they just put it all the way in the back, you know, where the knob is, just to make it easy for yourself. And the last one that I really hate is the fact that its refresh rate's only capped at 80 hertz. This hurts me personally because I can feel it. Like 90 hertz feels different from 80 hertz and I can tell the difference. Most of the games just don't feel as smooth as they can be. I feel like it's like my hardware, but you know, like what I have in my graphics card or whatever. But it turns out it's just the headset itself. The 80 hertz screen really does bother me. I notice it in game, and I wish they just upgraded it to 90 hertz since they have a display port and everything. If they can't deliver 90 hertz with that display port, they should have just switched it to HDMI. So personally, would I say that this was worth $400? Personally, I'd say yes, just because this is in its a category of its own compared to the others that you'll see, like for example, the HTC Cosmos and the HTC Vive. 
this is in its own category for $400. This is all you need to set up to play VR. Easy setup and probably the cheapest headset you can get out there. Overall, if you want to get your hands in the PC VR cookie jar, this is the best way to do it. If your PC is capable of it and you just want to give it a shot, do this. This is the best way to do it. If you're having issues with um, the tracking or whatever, I'll leave a link to that uh, USB drive that I use down there. And if you found this video just a little bit entertaining, please hit the like button. It helps my self-esteem. Also, hit that subscribe button if you want to be receiving new videos once a year. And also, let me know down in the comment section if you bought this, was it worth $400? I'm curious to see what other people's opinion is. While going through Reddit, I've seen very mixed reviews about this headset, so I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Before I leave, I'm going to shout out a couple of people that got me out of my lazy bones and started to make one video, just at least one video. Mr. Reza Zarlans, um, he says, when are you going to upload? And there's a, a chill emoji. I don't know what that entails, but... Um, I like this comment and inspire me to to do more videos. So cool, cool for you. You get one friendship point. Um, I just saw your video. I thought smooth a video without bull sh hashtag hashtag. So please keep making videos. That guy's cool. Thumbs up. You get also one friendship point from me. Well, those are the two people that I saw that helped me out and gave me just a little bit of motivation to make this video. So, shout out to them.